if the greatest gift is the source of life, of love, of truth within us, something happens when we attune to that gift and receive it, when we tune into it. You can tune into the greatest gift and receive something that is real. And something happens when you do because it really is the source of life. And when we tune in and heart and, and mind and spirit to it, it activates us. It charges us. It inspires us. It uplifts us. It has our back when we're tuned into it. You know why? Because it's real. It's a real thing. What happens if you attune to a structure of human consciousness, of human culture? What if you tune into a belief? Or a practice? Well, the belief might have some benefit and the practice might have benefit. The culture that gets established around all that could have some benefit. But what happens if you tune into a belief and not something re real that transcends culture? Human culture can look oh so formidable, oh so important. The structures of religion can look that way. the cathedrals of Europe, they're magnificent. A church can look like it's going to last forever. It is seemingly stability, but it is not the stability of reality. It's the seeming stability of culture. And if you have a belief, you, you can be fervent about the belief. You can have all kinds of passion and emotion. It, it, it can have some kind of effect when you attune to a belief. But it is ultimately not life-giving. 